हेलो एवरी वन आई एम जयदीप शाह असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम के के डब्ल्यू आई डब्ल ई एन आर नासिक टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाइब्रिड एनर्जी स्टोरेज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आफ्टर दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हाइब्रिड एनर्जी स्टोरेज वाई हाइब्रिड एनर्जी स्टोरेज इज नीडेड एंड battery plus super capacitor hybrid energy storage despite on the obvious benefits of electric and hybrid vehicles regarding their low emissions high reliability dynamic and comfort aspects the market still grows slowly because of one major challenge the performance of the energy storage system at present Almost all pure electric vehicles are equipped with galvanic electrochemical batteries which have lower energy density compared to petrol while high end cars like Tesla Model X provides more than 450 km travel range the average cost electric vehicles can drive far less than conventional cars there is even a special term range anxiety describing the fear that electric vehicle can run out of charge before reaching its destination or recharging point comparison of various energy storage technology so please check this uh, red color lithium ion then we are having this capacitors ultra capacitors so from pure ultra capacitor you cannot travel more distance but specific power is very high in case of ultra capacitors generally three different types of storage are used for electric or hybrid vehicles lithium ion batteries means electrochemical super capacitor means electrostatic and flywheel mechanical type of energy storage so in case of lithium ion it provides 20 times energy density flywheel provides 10 times power density again super capacitor is also providing 10 times power density in case of lithium ion batteries it charges in minutes to hours super capacitor takes few seconds and flywheel also takes few seconds lithium ion battery is having short life span super capacitor and flywheel they are having long life spans super capacitors are also called ultra capacitors double layer capacitors or electrochemical capacitors are a type of energy storage system that has been gaining popularity in recent years they can be thought of as a cross between an ordinary capacitor and a battery yet they are different from both super capacitors have a very high capacitance compared to their traditional alternatives hence the name just like a battery ultra capacitor cells have a positive and negative electrode separated by an electrolyte but unlike batteries ultra capacitor store energy electrostatically rather than chemically like a battery however super capacitor normally have a much smaller energy capacity compared to lithium ion batteries therefore using hybrid energy storage system can fully utilize advantage of these two kind of energy storage devices and avoid their disadvantages super capacitor it is having higher power density longer cycle life lower temperature sensitivity higher efficiency and last one is one of the disadvantage lower energy density but because of those advantages which makes it an attractive pairing for batteries because of super capacitors use a porous carbon based electrode material a very high effective surface area can be obtained by this porous structure
compared to a conventional plate structure as seen from this figure. Supercapacitor also have a minimum distance between the electrodes which results in a very high capacitance compared to a conventional electrolytic capacitor. Ultra capacitor also have a dielectric separator dividing the electrolyte just like a capacitor. This internal cell structure allows ultra capacitor to have a very high energy storage density especially when compared to a normal capacitor. Ultra capacitors do store less energy than a similar size battery but they are able to release this energy much more rapidly as the discharge is not dependent on a chemical reaction taking place. Another great benefit of ultra capacitor is that they can be recharged a huge number of times with little or no degradation in excess of 1 million charge and discharge cycles. This is because no physical and chemical changes occur when, when they recharge. Hybrid and electric vehicle limitation Hybrid traction system unlike those in pure electric vehicles cannot effectively utilize regenerative energy during braking. Uh, neither can it be captured in pure electric vehicles during intense deceleration because of low power density and fast degradation of the cells in the battery under high charging currents. This losses of the braking energy substantially reduces the traveling range of the vehicle. The current surge under acceleration in the urban driving cycles also significantly reduce the lifetime of the batteries. Even when using the battery management systems that directly control the charging and discharging rate, cells, state of charge, voltage and temperature, the lifetime of the common traction batteries does not exceed 4 to 5 years. Meanwhile, the battery is the most expensive part of electric vehicle. Hybrid energy storage system. So what does hybrid refer to in the world of energy storage? While the idea isn't new, the technology is still in an early phase, only really being explored for grid applications in the past couple of years. Hybrid energy storage systems can refer to several different types of setup. The point in common is that two or more type of energy storage are combined to form a single system. Hybrid energy storage system typically combine both sprinter and marathon storage solution to fulfill applications that have diametrically opposed requirements. Example, fast response versus peak saving. The potential for value stacking immediately jumps to mind. A single energy storage technology cannot fulfill the desired operation due to its limited capability and potency in terms of lifespan, cost, energy, power density and dynamic response. Hence different configuration of hybrid energy storage systems considering storage type, interface, control method and provided service have been given in and discussed in various literatures. So from this diagram we can check that batteries have higher specific energy and can run for much longer time. Ultra capacitors have far higher specific power meaning they can provide a high current. Different variations of hybrid energy storage system were proposed by researchers during the last decade. The main idea of hybrid energy storage system is to combine different energy storage technologies into the coherent system with special control strategy which can use the advantage of each energy source in order to improve overall performance. Special attention should be given to the battery ultra capacitor system in which energy dense battery serves as an energy source for long range traveling. 
while ultra capacitor pack is used as a peak power source providing burst of power for acceleration and capturing regenerated energy during braking very high power density big number of charging discharging cycles and wide operation of temperature range of ultra capacitor make them ideal assistant for galvanic batteries in electric vehicles basic parallel topology of hybrid energy storage system a hybrid energy storage system consisting of battery and super capacitors can be used to reduce battery stress and recover braking energy efficiently so here this ac motor is powered by traction inverter which is connected with battery and ultra capacitor hybrid energy storage system of electric vehicle has great potential to take full advantage of high power density with super capacitor and high energy density with battery to improve dynamic performance and energy efficiency of evs however its energy management becomes much more complicated in particular the power distribution between super capacitor and battery so from this diagram we can get idea of battery plus super capacitor energy storage battery is connected with inverter inverter is connected with an electric motor generally three phase induction motor or permanent magnet synchronous motor is suitable for heavy duty vehicle super capacitor connected to dc to dc converter this electric motor is again connected to power transmission mechanical power transmission and it gives power to wheel this one is second example of hybrid energy storage system here they have used fuel cell system with super capacitor so this one is not our ordinary electric vehicle this this one is fuel cell electric vehicle which uses hydrogen fuel cell system is connected to boost converter so again it's a dc to dc converter it gives power to inverter and then motor these are my references these are the reference papers thank you very much for your attention